Oh yeah. It is good to be back. It is good to see all of you. I am Jason. This is works by Hearst and this is by far my most requested video. Let's make it a good one. Talking about the Langmuir Systems Crossfire CNC Plasma Table. I have owned mine since the very first pre-order. I was within the first 45 seconds when they launched the pre-order. Those of you not familiar with what a Crossfire CNC Plasma Table is, Langmuir Systems created this DIY kit, which is a two by two a plasma table with an optional water table. It's powered by a program called Mach 3, which is sort of like, a, it's an industry standard. Mach 3 has been around for a long time and it, you can do a lot of things with Mach 3 more than just a plasma table. This is not sponsored content. No one is paying me to say this. I will give you my complete unvarnished, unbiased opinion of this machine. It's downfalls, it's uh, positives. I'm a craftsman who really enjoys making things by hand. I appreciate a handmade item and I love making things with my hands. That is a workflow all into itself, making something from scratch, with your hands. And then you get into CNC, computer numerical controlled. That is an entirely different workflow. And that is honestly the way of the future. If you have a small shop like mine and you want to try to get CNC technology into your shop, the price of admission for that can be very, very high. We're talking on the orders of tens of thousands of dollars. When I first started making and sculpting, I was using a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder. And I was very pleased with the results. I could cut the steel I needed to cut fairly quickly and accurately with that tool. But as the thicknesses of the material that I was using increased, the speed of which I was cutting went down. So then I looked into a plasma cutter. Now, now a plasma cutter is probably one of my most favorite tools in the shop in the sense that it's, it's the most fun to use. That's what I should say. It's the most fun tool for me to use in the shop because I kind of feel like a Jedi with a lightsaber. You know that scene where Qui-Gon Jinn slams his lightsaber through the blast doors on that ship? Yeah, every time I cut a piece of steel, that happens in my head. As demand for the sculptures I was making increased, I was looking for ways to increase my output. And then I saw a pre-order for a Langmuir Systems and their Crossfire CNC plasma table. And I started doing some research. And if you've ever looked at the small plasma table market, like the two by two market, because I have a very, very small shop and I need a two by two table, they start at about $3,900 and they go to about $6,900, almost seven grand. That's just for the table. You still, you still gotta buy the plasma cutter and the torch itself to go on the table. Now, I'm, I'm sure those tables are fantastic. And for that price, honestly, they better be fantastic. That's too much, that, that's too high. For my budget i couldn't do that in steps langmuir system they saw a void in the market and they filled it one of the reasons why i have taken so long to do this review is because they were a brand new company with a brand new product and i fully expect there to be problems and issues with that product it's extremely rare to launch a product with a brand new company and have it go perfectly with no hiccups and i wanted to step back and see how the company dealt with these problems dealt with their customers and adjusted before I made my review. And they did not let me down. I ordered my plasma table. It shipped and arrived. Everything was packed really, really nicely. There was some damage to one of the rails. The gantry that holds the plasma torch runs on the steel square tubing. And there was some cuts, some nicks in that rail. And every time the gantry would go over that rail, it would, it would jitter and get hung up. I called them and they immediately sent me a replacement part. Boom, no problem, no questions asked. And then to be honest with you, I could not get this table to work. I battled with my table for three months trying to get it to work. Every time my torch would ignite, the table would stop moving. It would just, it would freeze. To their credit, Langmuir Systems reached out to me and they said, Jason, you're only one of about four or five people having this problem, will you troubleshoot this problem with us. And I said, absolutely. They were reaching out to me. So I took the time and I took, I took about four weeks there where I made several private YouTube videos for them of the problem, making changes and troubleshooting. And it all boiled down to, it was not their fault. It was the fault of my plasma cutter. I have an alpha cut APH 60 at the time. And that plasma cutter, when, when it would ignite and cut, the arc would produce so much high frequency noise. It would fry, not necessarily fry, but it would interfere with all the electronics in my shop. My laptop would shut off. 
the control box for the crossfire plasma table would freeze up. So it boiled down to it was my alpha cut plasma cutter. And that is something that you need to know. If you have an alpha cut plasma cutter, I would be very concerned about ordering a crossfire plasma table because right now they are not shielded in such a way to handle those high frequency uh, noise problems. I would reach out to them first and say, hey, I've got an Alpha Cut 60 or Alpha Cut 45 or whatever. Uh, have you guys addressed the high frequency noise? Because I know they were working on that problem because they agreed to swap with me. They said, hey, Jason, if you will box up your Alpha Cut 60 and mail it to us, we will mail you one of our Razor Weld Power Cut 45s, one of their plasma cutters that they know works with the system. And they said, we'll swap you. That way we have your high frequency monster in our facility and we can try to replicate the problems you're having. And then you get a Razor Weld 45 that we know works. And so that's what they did. So they received my Alpha Cut 60 and they theoretically are using that plasma cutter for testing purposes to engineer a better shielding solution for their equipment so that they won't have this problem. So they're extremely responsive. They handled that issue. They made good on it. I can't complain. Can't complain at all. Okay, so the negatives. I would not classify this machine as being really robust. I would say it is a is a entry hobby level machine. If you're looking to get this technology in your shop and play around with it, absolutely, this is the way to go. But if you have a lot of orders and you're looking to crank out a lot of orders, you know, day in, day out, eight to 10 hours a day or whatever your work schedule is, I would not want to build, I would not feel comfortable, let me put it that way. I would not feel comfortable building a business around the Crossfire a CNC plasma table because I feel like it's a little bit fragile. There seems to be a lot of friction into the system between the drive nuts and the drive screws. It is absolutely imperative. In fact, this machine will not run smoothly if you do not have the drive screws well lubricated. And I use this white lithium grease and I apply it before I run it every time. You gotta keep the drive screws completely clean of, of you know metal dust and debris and then you lubricate them every time. So you've got to know how to talk to this machine, how to give it what it needs in order for it to deliver optimal performance to you. And the biggest flaw I can say on this is the, the drive motors seem to be underpowered. When you are rapiding between cuts, this has happened numerous, numerous times for me, when it is trying to rapid quickly, the drive motor will be overloaded and it will skip. It will skip several notches for lack of a better word. And then your entire pattern is now shifted. You've got to slow everything down to keep the drive motors from being overloaded. Also, this machine does not have torch height control. It's only got X and Y. There is no Z. When you're doing a really intricate cut like R2-D2 here, which yes, this was cut on the Langmuir Systems uh, Crossfire table. So you can see what its capabilities are. You are on tip up patrol. <laughs> a tip up is when one of these pieces that you've cut out, they will tip up on the table. Now all of the programming for this I'm doing in Fusion 360 and there is a tip up setting for that. But when you get really complicated and you start doing stuff like this, I found that tip up setting is not reliable. So you can't set this machine and just forget it. You need to stay there and monitor for tip ups. If you're cutting thin sheet metal, you need to either clamp the sheet metal down or hold the sheet metal down because if it does catch a tip up or a little slag bead, it will shift the sheet metal and now your pattern's garbage. And that's happened a few times with me as well. So on a, on a piece like this, the cut time is like 20 minutes. I'm there the whole time holding the sheet metal down, watching for tip ups. You can't leave it alone. You got to you got to stay present and that's the price you pay. I, I don't know. I'm sure on a, on a more expensive machine, you know, you have to stay as well to watch tip ups, but I believe that if it had torch high control that it would pick up the torch in between cuts that might be uh, eliminated to some degree. Then there is the water table. I opted for the water table and some of these really small fine cuts like on R2D2 would not be possible without the water table because the water table splashes up and cools down those real fine pieces so that they don't completely melt. And it also keeps your work piece from warping. I think it is very valuable to have a water table, but you also have to understand that when the plasma cutter is heating up the water, it turns it into vapor. That water table is dissipating a lot of heat. 
the water temperature will increase and it will produce steam. I've run this table for a couple hours one day getting ready for a show and my shop was just a jungle. And if you don't wear a respirator, it will impact you negatively. You'll feel it, you'll taste it, it'll be in your lungs, it will make you short of breath. So if you have a very small shop, you have to know that you need to open all the doors, all the windows, get lots of airflow. My uh, compressor was sucking in all this really moist air, which totally used up my desiccant. So dealing with the water table in a small enclosed environment was not something I was prepared for. I feel it's worth it, but you've got to make some adjustments. The water table and the machine, it just makes a huge mess in the shop. If you have a small shop, you just need to know a plasma cutter with the water table will make a huge mess, at least from my experience. Last thing is the learning curve. I knew going into this that I was going to have to learn and to grow and there's going to be some hurdles. I was not prepared for how different the workflow was from my laser. I have a 50 watt CO2 laser from eBay and I was used to that workflow, but that's art based workflow. The kerf on that laser is about the width of a human hair. So it's that's not a huge deal when you're cutting a piece out. You're going to be pretty close with that. The kerf of the plasma cutter arc is far greater. All of the files are set up on Fusion 360 and that software, which I am a complete novice to, is designed for manufacturing primarily. If you're trying to cut this cap out and you draw a circle or you draw this cap in Fusion 360 and you're gonna go cut it out, it's gonna ask you, which side of the line do you wanna use? Do you want the plasma torch to run around the outside or the inside? All these things you have to think in a different mindset which I wasn't uh, accustomed to. So if you can imagine cutting something like this, trying to program this, I'm sitting in front of a computer for like two days, three days, and I did three or four prototypes that were just garbage before I got to where I could cut a complex shape out. Is it worth it? Yes. Would I do it again? Absolutely. Having the technology in my shop to where I can design a part and then knock out 50 or 100 of them in a day reliably that's big that's big and that's why i did this review i want you guys to know exactly how it fits into my workflow so that you don't go buying one thinking that you're going to start a business off this machine you can i'm not saying the machine can't can't handle it i'm saying i would not be comfortable doing it myself because i would be scared that it would drop on me and now i've got customers orders waiting and i'm trying to get this machine to run hobbyist entry level absolutely if you want to play around and learn the technology awesome and you can run this machine all day i've done it before it requires an attentive hand and a little bit of care i love my crossfire plasma table I do. It opens up so many doors to possibilities that weren't that were not even there before I had the table. And that's the takeaway from this. Having a plasma table, having a computer controlled plasma table gives you capabilities that you didn't have before. Things that you can't do otherwise. So even if the table might be somewhat difficult to run or a little bit finicky in spots, it still gets the job done. That's what's important. That's worth the price of admission for the crossfire table. It may be a little bit delicate in some spots. It may be a little underpowered in some spots. If you know how to handle it, if you lubricate it, keep it clean, don't run it too fast, it will get the job done. You got to look at it from a point of view. It's cutting out pieces at a tolerance and at a speed at which by hand you couldn't do. You need to leverage the technology to cut shapes, patterns, and things that you could not do by hand. That's how it fits into my workflow. It's cutting things that I could not cut repeatably by hand. That's it. If you're interested in one of these tables and you go to uh, Langmer Systems, I'll put a link below to their website. If you enter works by a Hearst, you'll save $100. They'll knock $100 off of a table if you use the uh, coupon code or promo code works by a Hearst, all one word, when you go to checkout. Also, so that you know full transparency, that code helps support the channel. They give you a discount and they give me a, uh, a kickback. So that's how that works. If you wanna support the channel, thinking about buying one, use Works by Hearst and we both win. I think I've covered it. I have rambled enough. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful and helpful. I am Jason, this is Works by Hearst. I will see all of your shiny faces in the next one. Mm -hmm. <laughs>